Hi there. Today I'm going to take you through a short and gentle stretching sequence. This is perfect for first thing in the morning if you just want to start to move and feel a little bit more comfortable in your body, but it's also great for the end of the day as a wind down once you finish work. Everything's going to be done seated or on all fours and you don't need any props. It's going to start in a comfortable seated position just allowing your hips to settle onto the mat, just feeling the weight of them, maybe rocking the pelvis back and forward a little bit, just so that you can find a nice neutral point where you're not having to work too much. And once you've found that comfortable point, just imagine straightening your spine, lifting a little bit more towards the ceiling, lifting up the top of your head, letting your shoulders drop back and down. Taking a few deep breaths, starting to come into our bodies. Noticing how your breath is feeling. Is it short and shallow? Can you make it a little deeper? Letting go of a full breath on the exhale. very gentle neck rolls, just dropping right ear to right shoulder, bringing the head down, chin to chest, lifting back to the other side, left ear to left shoulder. Just going back and forth, drawing some little half moons, starting to feel in. We've been doing a lot of sitting, working at a desk, at a computer, your neck, the upper part of your shoulders might be quite tight. You can go all the way around if you like, or you can just stay doing those little half moons. Remembering to go the other way. And next time you come with chin to chest, let's just interlace the hands and bring them behind the back of the head so that you're cradling the base of the skull. Bring the elbows in a little bit, pressing the head back into the hands and the hands into the head, just dropping the chin down a little bit more, taking a big breath here and letting it go. And your next inhale, just start to lift up, looking towards the ceiling, widening the elbows, letting the head fall back into the hands. And on the exhale, dropping chin to chest, elbows coming in a little bit. Inhale. And exhale. Let's just keep that going with the rhythm of your own breathing. You can go as slowly or as quickly as feels right for you. And next time you come back to centre, just keeping your right hand cradling the base of your skull, bring the left hand down beside you and just press that hand into the mat, bend the elbow, coming into a little side bend, cradling your head with the right hand, just feeling into the side of the body. On an inhale, bend that supporting elbow a little bit more. And on the exhale, press that arm straight and turn to open a little bit towards the ceiling, letting the head fall back into your hands. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, just coming to that side bend. And exhale, pressing yourself up, but turning a little bit more towards the ceiling. Once more. And when you're up looking towards the ceiling, just letting the head fall back into the hands. Just pause here for a breath. And then turn down towards that knee. Let's stretch and walk those hands out over the top of the left knee, stretching out your fingertips just as far as you can, feeling a nice stretch through that right shoulder all the way down to the base of the spine. Take a big breath here. And then walk the hand to centre. 
Again, walk the fingers out, nice long active stretch, keeping the hips on the mat. One breath, letting it go, and use your hands to walk back to center. Let's just change the cross of the legs, so bring the other leg in front. Interlace the hands, let's just take one more round of that little cat cow again, so inhale, opening up towards the ceiling, cradling the head, exhale, bring chin to the chest, elbows coming together. And as you come back to center, keeping the left hand behind the head this time, right hand down to the mat, bending that right elbow, coming into a little side bend, just feeling through the side of the body first of all, take a big breath in. And on the exhale, straighten that hand and just turning up towards the ceiling, opening the chest a little bit. Inhale to bend the elbow and have a side bend. Exhale, opening up towards the ceiling, supporting the head with the hand once more. And then just pause here for a moment. Take a nice big breath. And on your next exhale, turning towards that right knee, let's just walk the hands forward, walking the fingertips out as far as we can, feeling a nice stretch down the left side of the body this time. Stretching out, keeping the hips planted firmly on the mat. And then walking the hands into center again. Just walking the fingers out, maybe you can get a little bit further this time. Keeping the shoulders down, away from the ears, lots of space for the neck. Take a big breath, letting it go. And walking the hands back to centre. Let's just bring our hands behind us, bring the feet to the mat, wider than hip width apart. Coming up onto your heels and just dropping the knees side to side, a little windscreen wiper motion. Just loosening up the hips a little bit. Feeling into how your hips and your low back are feeling. And then we're going to come all the way over into all fours. Just find a nice comfortable stance here. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we're just going to take a few rounds of cat and cow to the spine now. So on an inhale, bring the shoulder blades together. Let the middle back curve down, tilting pelvis up, looking ahead. On an exhale, press the shoulder blades apart, rounding through the middle of the spine, tucking the pelvis under, dropping the chin to chest. So inhale, the cow belly pose. And exhale, curving up, C curve into a lovely little calf pose. And we'll just take a few rounds of this music with your own breath. Just thinking about every part of the spine, noticing where the sticky points are, are there parts that are more mobile than others? Is it easier to move the base of your spine rather than your shoulder blades? Is all the motion coming from the middle of the back? Just take one more round, maybe going even slower this time. And then coming back to a neutral spine, finding that all fours position again. Let's just walk the hands towards the top corners of the mat. Just bringing the forehead down into your little happy puppy pose. Elbows are lifted off the mat. Think about trying to curl the underarms in towards one another. Keeping the hips up towards the ceiling and pressing back a little bit. Drawing in your stomach muscles to support your back. Just stretching through the upper arms. In the top of the back here, again, a really lovely stretch if you've been working at a desk or over a laptop a lot today. Take a few deep breaths here, really letting them go.
pressing up, walk the hands back in. And we're just going to tuck the toes and just come back onto our heels. You might need to tuck the little toes out of the way here. And we're just going to bring our hands behind us. Let's turn around so that you can see this. Bring the hands behind into a little reverse prayer. So fingertips together, shimmy them up between your shoulder blades, pressing the outsides of the hands together, drawing the shoulder blades and the collarbones back. And just allowing the hips to get a little bit heavier on the heels here. So a nice stretch through the feet, nice stretch through the upper back and shoulders. Taking another big breath. And just letting that go. And then we'll just shake the arms out a little bit, tap the top of the toes. We'll just come down into a seated position, legs out in front of you. I'm just going to bring the right ankle over the top of the left knee, bring the hands behind you, fingertips pointing forward or back, depending what works for you. And we're just going to bring that left foot up. Flexing the right foot, just in a little seated pigeon pose. Think about drawing the knee in just as close as is comfortable. And see if you can use your hands to push your spine nice and straight. You might like a little rocking motion side to side here, just stretching through the glutes. This can be very intense if you've been sitting all day or if you do a lot of driving. You might be able to wiggle that foot in a little bit closer. And then let's let it go. Just let that leg come straight and bring the foot into the inside of your thigh there. Take a big stretch upwards just to stretch all the way through the body, find lots of length and then pivot forward from the hips just as far as you can naturally lean forward. Bring your hands onto the mat. Take a breath here in this straight active pose. And on the exhale, just relax and allow yourself to naturally round forward over that leg. You can feel a really nice stretch along the back of the hamstring and also along the whole of the spine. No pushing or pulling, this is more of a yin style passive pose. Keep your breathing nice and deep, letting it go. Press your hands into the mat to walk yourself back upright. Just give your legs a little shimmy out in front of you and then we'll repeat that on the other side. So bringing the left ankle over the right knee, hands behind you, bring that right foot up. You may need it to be further away, you may need it to be closer in. Don't expect symmetry. Using your hands to press yourself nice and straight, finding lots of length for the spine, and maybe starting with that gentle rocking motion. Just feeling into how your body's responding. Come to a pause, maybe take it a little bit closer. Take a breath. And then letting it go, let that right leg slide out in front of you, bringing that foot to the inside of the thigh there. Coming up to a nice straight spine first of all. Pivoting forward on the hips just as far as you can. You'll feel it in your hamstring. Take a breath in this straight pose, nice and active. Everything pressing into the ground. And then on the exhale, just let everything soften and relax. Little bend maybe in the knee, don't need to keep it perfectly straight. We don't want to lock into any of our joints. Letting the head drop, you might find you can go even a little bit deeper this time as the spine is getting a bit more ease. Deep breaths. 
Lass ihn wieder sein. your hands to the mat, just walk yourself slowly back up, give the legs a little wiggle, just coming back to that cross-legged position, then we'll finish this by taking a little twist, bringing the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you, straighten the spine, hit towards the ceiling, and then just turning to look over that right shoulder, drawing in stomach muscles, taking a nice big breath here, feeling the twist, and letting it go, let's just go straight to the other side. Right hand on the left knee, left hand behind you, nice and straight. Turn into that twist. Big breath in. And letting it go, coming back to centre. Take a little wiggle. See how you're feeling now. Maybe bring one hand over the other on your heart, pry just a little pressure. Taking a big breath in and letting it go. Hopefully you now feel a little bit looser, ready for the day or ready to relax for the evening. Thank you for practicing with me.